In this video, I'm going to take a mixture. It's a homogeneous mixture. It's ethanol and water. Ethanol is a type of alcohol. It mixes uh, thoroughly in water. And I'm going to be using distillation as a way of separating this mixture. So I'm pouring my mixture into the hot end of a distillation apparatus. And I have uh, assembled this whole thing ahead of time according to the instructions in a different video. I'm now inserting a temperature probe, and I'm going to put this probe above the liquid quite a ways, so it's going to lag a little bit behind the temperature of the actual liquid, but it'll give the temperature of the vapor above the liquid. Turning on the water, and now you can see the water jacket around the condenser beginning to fill up. So that'll cool off the condenser tube that runs inside there and cause condensation of the liquid that boils off. The large flask. I've lit my burner now and I'm adjusting the flame to give a kind of a cool flame. Don't want to get too aggressive there. And I'm plotting the temperature on uh, my laptop and recording the screen as I go. So now we're beginning to see some a little bit of movement. If you can look carefully, you can see the water beginning to move a little bit from energy heating. So here's a, the, the screen, zooming in on the screen, you can see that the starting temperature is just a little above 20 degrees, that's a room temperature approximately. And now I've uh, moved the graph off to the corner and we'll watch the distillation. Now this takes a while and so it's going to be a lot of just watching water boil basically, but I'm going to speed it up. You can see there's a rapid rise in temperature going on. This is boiling starting to take place. I'm back to normal speed. You can see that there's a liquid dripping now into the cold end of the, of the uh, apparatus. And that liquid should be whatever boils at the lower temperature of this mixture. So water and the mixture is, is boiling. The vapor is going up into that little Y-shaped piece. It's being forced down the condenser because it has no place else to go, and then it condenses, and it shows up as liquid on the other side. You can see now that there's a flat spot developing on the graph. That indicates that we're primarily undergoing a phase change with um, the energy that's being added, although it's not quite as sharp now as it would be if this was a pure substance that was vaporizing. We can see that the flat spot is at around 80 degrees, um, so that's not water, so that must be the boiling point or approximately the boiling point of the ethanol that is in this mixture. So back to boiling, and I've sped this way up. You can see that the level in the cold end of the apparatus is getting higher as it continues to boil. And now we don't have quite so much of a flat spot anymore. Temperature is beginning to creep up as some of the energy is now being used to increase the temperature of the water while the alcohol continues to boil. Now the alcohol appears to have completely stopped boiling because the temperature is beginning to shoot up kind of rapidly at this point. So, and you can see that the dripping has decreased a lot in the cold end. So I'm going to take this uh, opportunity to disconnect the cold end flask because I think the next thing that will happen is I'll begin to start having water condense in my condenser tube and I'm trying to accomplish a separation of this mixture and that would sort of defeat the purpose. I'm just kind of setting that in place 
and you can't see it, but I'm putting a beaker underneath the output from the condenser. So this flask should now contain, I think, alcohol, al ethanol, or fairly, fairly close to pure ethanol. Temperature continues to rise as it continues to boil here. And again, we're starting to see it gradually achieve another flat spot on the graph. Again, you can't see it, it's off the screen, but there's a beaker catching what's dripping out of the condenser right now. Another close up. Uh, now we can see that the flat spot is occurring right around 100, which indicates that now we don't really have any alcohol left in the boiling flask anymore, and we are just boiling water at this point. So what's coming across the condenser and dripping into the beaker that I've put in place is probably now water or very nearly pure water. We'll do a test to be sure. At this point I'm going to stop the distillation process because I think separation is probably pretty complete. So I've turned off the burner. And now let's focus in on these two watch glasses that I put on the table here. So these are just kind of shallow dishes. And I'm going to take the liquid that was coming out at the end there that fell into this beaker and pour that on one of the watch glasses, which I suspect is water or nearly water. And this is the stuff that was in the output flask before I stopped the distillation which I suspect was ethanol, and it is, because it lights. Now let's see if the other substance will light. And I put my match right down there, nothing happens. In fact, I can just drop the match right in there and it would never light on fire. So this distillation worked. It separated the ethanol from the water effectively by making use of the fact that they have boiling points that are quite different. So the ethanol all boiled, and then after that was condensed and boiled, the water begin to boil later.